Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install and run on a local computer an AI model for converting text to speech and for speech cloning. The name of this model is Zonos version 0.1 and over here you can see the graphics user interface that's running on my local computer. This model is released under the Apache 2.0 license, which is a very permissive license. The model can generate audio files on the basis of the text prompt. For example, over here you can see a text prompt and a voice sample. Namely, I recorded myself speaking and here is the voice sample. Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. This is the basic text that I always used in my tutorial to introduce myself and to introduce this channel. On the basis of this text and on the basis of this speech sample, the model will create an audio file that will basically read this text with a voice that resembles my voice. The model can control speaking rate, pitch variation, audio quality, as well as emotions such as happiness, anger, sadness, etc. The model also supports popular languages such as English, Japanese, French, Chinese, German, as well as other languages. You can run this model by using this Gradio interface that's running on my local computer or by using the Python code which is shown over here. I'm going to explain how to install and use both approaches for running this model. So let's run the demonstration over here. So if I click over here on Generate Audio, the audio will be generated and just to mention that generation is performed on my local GPU which is NVIDIA 3090 GPU. Okay, so here's the voice. Let me just go back and play it again so you can hear it. Hello, my name is Alexander Haber and this is a test of this program. This is an AI generated voice which should resemble my voice. Today is a good day, it was not snowing. Sun was shining. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Actually, the voice is pretty much too similar to my voice. However, you can still optimize it and you can improve it such that it really resembles my voice. But however, even these results are really good. So let's run again and let's see what happens. And let me turn the microphone closer to the speaker. Hello, my name is Alexander Haber. And this is a test of this program. This is an AI generated voice which should resemble my voice. Today is a good day. It was not snowing. The sun was shining. Not bad, not bad. It kind of resembles a little bit of French accent to be honest. But before we start with explanations, it's very important to mention the following. Since this model can mimic someone else's voice, there are possibilities that someone can misuse this model or use it unethically or against the law. However, this is an issue with almost all AI programs. We don't take any legal or moral responsibility if the model is used unethically or against the laws and regulations in your country. We believe that AI models should be used to benefit the humanity and in, in accordance with laws and regulations of every country. For example, a constructive way of using this model is in robotics where a robot can imitate a human being that is a voice of a human being or you can create your own AI assistant that mimics your voice. Okay, let's start with explanation. The first step is to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit. To do that, you can watch this YouTube tutorial I created and I'm going to provide a link to that tutorial in the description below this video. Then, you have to install Anaconda on the Linux Ubuntu system. Again, you can watch this video tutorial whose link will be provided in the description below in order to install Anaconda on the Linux Ubuntu system. Next, open a terminal. And over here, I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing. And at the same time, you can see all the commands that are written over here. 
Whenever you want to install a program or a package in Linux Ubuntu, always run these two commands, sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And depending on how fast is your internet connection, it might take even one minute or less than a minute to install and to update everything. And of course, it depends how often do you run these two commands. My suggestion is to run them at least once a day. Next, run this to install eSpeakNG, which is a very easy to use tool for converting text to speech. Next, we need to clone the remote repository. To do that, make sure that you're in the home folder and then clone this website. So let's see what we are cloning. We are actually cloning the official repository of Zonos. So let's do that. You simply need to type git clone and enter the GitHub address of Zonos. Here it is. Let me now paste this and that's it. Now let's navigate to Zonos folder and inside of this folder we need to create Conda virtual environment. To create a Conda virtual environment we need to execute this command. And over here I need to explain one very important thing. Notice over here that I'm specifying Python version to be 3.10. Namely, I tested everything on Python 3.10 and it worked completely okay. You might also try some other Python version, for example, 3.11 or 3.12. However, let's try this version and this will create a virtual environment. Press yes. And let's activate this virtual environment such that we can install all the programs and all the packages. And finally, we need to run these two installation commands. First of all, let's run this one and let's hope that there will be no errors. If you want to know what you're actually doing and what are the requirements, you can always look into this folder. Namely, let's go to home, let's go to Zonos, and over here you should find this file, pyproject2ml, and if you open this, you can see what are the dependencies over here, and you can see the Python, minimum Python version. It's always good to know these things. Let's go back here and let's hope that there were no errors. It might happen that in the case of Python 3.12, you might see some errors. And there are always issues with Python versions, with package versions and everything. However, I noticed that Python 3.10 works perfectly. Next, let's run this installation command. And this installation com command will actually compile something. Consequently, be patient and let's hope that there we will see no errors. Okay, let's see. The next step is to create an audio file that will be used for cloning. For example, if you have a microphone attached to your computer or if you have a cell phone, you can record yourself speaking. So take, for example, an article or take a book or take something from internet and read one paragraph. In my case, I'm just going to read what I actually read at the beginning of this video tutorial. To record myself, I'm going to use this useful command line tool called a record, which comes with Linux Ubuntu. And I'm going to save the file as source1.mp3. Here, with this parameter f, I'm specifying the file format. Over here, I'm sampling, I think, with 44 kilohertz rates, and I think the sound will be recorded with 16 bit. Okay, so let me run this and I will read a paragraph. So now I'm reading. In this tutorial, we explain how to install and run on a local computer an AI model for converting text to speech and for speech cloning. The name of this model is Zonos version 0.1. It is released under the Apache 2.0. Now to stop the recording you need to press Ctrl C and what will happen a file will be generated. To, this, to see that file type this and you should see source 1. So let's play source 1 and let's make sure that everything is being recorded. Go over here and play source 1. 
So now I'm reading. In this tutorial, we explain how to install Good, this is the file, and we can continue further. There are several approaches for running this model. First of all, I'm going to explain a Python approach. To do that, you need to use your favorite Python editor, in my case, it's Visual Studio Code. If you want to know how to install Visual Studio Code on Linux Ubuntu, I created a separate video tutorial and a link to that tutorial will be provided in the description below this video. To start Visual Studio Code, simply type this. Then over here, click on File. Actually, you don't need to create a file since with this code, there is this, full, uh, there, there is this file called sample.py. Simply open this file and let's start modifying this file. First of all, over here, we are importing the necessary libraries so you don't need to modify this part. Then over here, we are loading the model. First time you're running this code, the model will be downloaded from the Hugging Face repository. However, the second time you run the model, the model files will be already downloaded and they will be simply loaded. Over here, we need to adjust the name of the file that will be cloned. Okay, so let's make sure that the name is correct. It's source1.mp3. So over here, type source1.mp3 and this file will be cloned. That is the voice tone and the accent from this file will be cloned. Then we create speaker, we specify sampling rate, we specify the format, then we use a random generation over here, then over here we need to specify the text. So let's for example type text. This is a test text for testing the AI model. My name is John and I am a machine learning student and you can add your own random text I like to study and I like to play basketball for example or you can add several more sentences and at the end you have to spec specify speaker you spe have to specify language etc. Then you need to prepare the conditioning for the model. Here you will generate, here you will call auto encoder and you will save the file as sample.wav. That is the WAV file and basically that's it. So let's run this file. To run this file you need to create or better to say you need to select the Python interpreter. To select the Python interpreter press and hold Control shift p then search Python, select interpreter, click here, and make sure that you select the Python interpreter inside of your virtual environment. And then bang, simply run this and you'll see what will happen. First of all, the model will be downloaded from the internet and it might take a while to download everything and after that the file will be generated. The first time you run this, it's going to take a while to download everything. In my case, the models were already being downloaded in a system cache, consequently everything is much faster. And you can see literally in several seconds after the model is downloaded, the file is generated. So let's open the file and let's play the file. So here it is. This is a test text for testing the AI model. My name is John and I am a machine learning student. I like to study and I like to play basketball. Almost like my voice, right? Almost there. This is a test text for testing the AI model. My name is John and I am a machine learning student. I like to study and I like to play basketball. Very good. Okay, so that was the first approach for running the model and let's explain the second approach. The second approach is easier. Basically, you can use Gradio. To run Gradio, you need to run this file inside of the virtual environment. So go over here, make sure that the virtual environment is active, and simply run Gradio. Now, the Gradio will be loaded, and the model will be also loaded in the system. So where the model is running, the model is running on this address. Press Control and click here, and you will see the model will be open in your web browser. Now, wait for a while until 
the model is being loaded and then after some time you will see this screen and let's enter the text over here to enter the text let me go back to the Python file and let me just copy this text over here for reference control C go back to the web browser paste here over here you need to select this, the file for cloning let's select source select and over here keep the default variables and generate audio file and let's see what will happen this is a test text for testing the AI model my name is John and I am a machine learning student I like to study and I like to play basketball amazing really amazing it really resembles my voice however still it has a little bit different accent but this model can be improved or tuned such that it really matches my voice okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial